I'm rolling. He's the guy that made a bunch of the video game adaptation movies, like movie movies about from video game licenses. Yeah. And I was like, I wrote like a whole twenty minute write up on him, and then I realized that the topic is not. Yeah, this is I kind of figured you would. Uh, I also thought the same thing. I yeah. couldn't write it right. I had to change the title last night. Was it better last night? Movie tie-in games. Yeah, that's that's but, the one. Yeah. But the the last night the title was like movie game adaptation. Yeah, movie. I changed that. Yeah. And I was like, oh, he's talking about video games that got turned into movies. We can talk about that's that too. That's what I also not, thought. That's what I thought. But and, no, I went back in and then I changed the title where it's like movie tie it, it was like movie tie-in games is like the actual pronunciation of what you're tra- <laughs> which is like totally fine but i like i watch a youtube video i was like getting sources well, you can talk about like, that you want i was like i'll talk about it yeah. in some oh, other already, episode. Uh, well yeah i'll talk about it in some I, other I mean, episode already, you know yeah. when i was making this like it was really there's no real like, definitive reason why they left it just they just stopped doing it the movies yeah well, i couldn't well, find like a definitive article to read about it we'll talk about it because it, it has to do with just the, the way that the market just out. changed yeah, yeah. Um, are anyway, we, how are we boys doing? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, we're okay. rolling, baby. Okay. I wanted to start. Let's do, yeah. let's do a little exercise yeah. to get us warmed up this morning. Wow. I should. I'm so used to doing the show in the morning that. If, yeah. <laughs> it is uh, fucking anyway, yeah. Uh, so, is it so we're gonna, all going to go around the room and we're all going to name a fruit until we can't name a fruit. Go first, Jordan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, orange. Banana. Theme song. <laughs> <laughs> See, in the way, on my way here, I was like. Tay's gonna do something out of spite <laughs> yeah, of me doing this. Yeah. I know it because he does it every single time. That's actually week. really funny. So I told you go first. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> yeah, grapes are a fruit, I guess. Yeah. It, what do you mean, I guess? Uh, a fruit. It's you a know, fu- fruit. Yeah, yeah. But what do you mean, I guess, grapes are a fruit? Of course, are a fruit. It's like tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes are not the same as grapes. They're, they're not in. They're not in the same. I think they hang. I think they are a fruit. Yeah, they are fruits. Yeah, they're tomatoes fruit. are fruit, yeah, but well, grapes, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. To- tomatoes. You say tomatoes. <laughs> I, I say, say tomatoes. tomatoes. Mm. But the, the grapes that have never been in debate whether or not they're a fruit or not. Tomatoes have. Get over it. <laughs> go ahead. Go. <laughs> oh, are you waiting for me? I what said tomato. Fruit? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, the papaya. papaya. Dragon fruit. Is that dragon fruit? Uh, a durian. Jackfruit. You only know that because of Dragon Ball. <laughs> you, you only said jackfruit because of the fruit in the name. What did you, what did you say? <laughs> jackfruit. What's that? It's a it's a fruit. Is that that's the word? It's white and like black seeds on the inside. That's dragon fruit. No, that's dragon fruit. Yeah, jackfruit is the one that they use as a meat substitute. You know what? Fuck it. Apple. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Apple. Yeah. Banana. You already said banana. No, I didn't. No, Brian already said banana. You did. Yeah. Uh, orange. No, you said orange. I was already- <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to say pineapple? No. Pineapple. Kiwi. Lime. Lime's a fruit. Why are you guessing all Lemon? Like, you're questioning yeah, all of these. Lime's a fruit. <laughs> kiwi. No, no kiwi. it's Brian's. I said kiwi. No, but it's you Oh, know, but it's my turn? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, That's where it gets the, 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 the Guayaba or guava. Uh, I knew he was going to do this. Go ahead. <laughs> guava. Cantaloupe. Uh, mango. Uh, the honeydew melon. <laughs> it's avocado a fruit or is it vegetable it's a fruit technically it's a fruit coconut it's a fruit yeah. coconut's a fruit mm, yeah coconut's I a fruit I think it's a seed coconut coconut is a seed so you gotta open that thing up to get coconut around it coconut is not the straight balls people think it is Let me it's, see. it's like coconut fruit. a fruit yeah coconut is a fruit it's a fruit more specifically it is a droop what's that hair <laughs> shit around what? it a, a droop, droop. what's that hair shit to be around it so you gotta open up the shit. Yeah, you gotta do the no t- before the ball. We all know the husk. husk. Yeah, 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 yeah. The husk. We have in Puerto Rico. I one time, me and my cousins did the most like just unhinged shit, and we got like six coconuts, and we took a big sharp rock, and we just started trying to crack them open. I never had it took us five hours. Before. Like it's awful. I hate coconut. There's a Korean, a Korean melon. Korean melon. Blood orange. Ooh, that's a good one. That's just uh, my orange without. Oh, if we're doing that way, then uh, what are we doing? Grapples, grapples, grapples. Oh, what? Are, yeah, grapples. Yeah. Top what, tier apple. What man. is a grap- apples? Do like taste like slightly like grapes? Super sweet. The best apples in the world. Fantastic. It's a good one. Cotton candy grapes. Dude, fuck you. I was gonna say that. <laughs> 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 Those things are delicious, man. Cotton candy real? grapes. Oh, they're so natural. They nat- yeah, they're completely natural. Cotton they're just, candy grapes. Cotton candy grapes. They somehow bred them. So that they taste. They, bred them. they did. It's <laughs> like grapples are. Yeah. They somehow bred these fucking grapes so that they taste 
like cotton candy. And ooh, boy, that sounds like, overwhelming. To if me. you get a fucking juicy one, if you get like a real juicy, but cotton if you candy eat like grape, twelve in a row, yeah, they it. stop. The flavor goes away. You don't. You stop. Yeah, you stop it. tasting it. I'm diabetic though, so I just fucking this is sweet. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> like, fucking, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this is my macaroni. Right uh, craisins. You gotta let Brian go before you. Sorry. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Take craisins from him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do cranberry. Say it again. Cranberry. <laughs> What do you? What, I thought what? you were saying a type of bread. No, cranberry. I was like, what cranberry? Breakery are you going to? Craisins. Craisins. I can't. Craisins. Craisins. I don't think anyone said raisins. They no, suck. nobody said. Yeah, raisins are. Bad. Wait, no, raisins are just dried grapes. Fruits. Yeah, and cram craisins are just dried cranberries. You can't say craisins then. Yeah, you, I did. You I can't did. find craisins out in the wild. You can't find. Yeah, you can. They have their sun dried. <laughs> they have no. That's not a fruit. That's like growing <laughs> out of the ground. Got you. That is saying. Cracker, what's the point of this? What's going on? I'm trying to get prepared. What's the Dragon Ball character's the fruit? The, I mean, he does a lot of vegetables. Yeah. A you pig, said Piccolo. Dor Doron. Who's the other guy? <coughs> du oh, yeah. The Doron. Dur. Are we really basing our fruit knowledge of a Dragon Ball Z right now? Yeah, he just sees anything that. in a room and just name a character after that. Yeah, that's so cute. Like, what's that movie where the, uh, the, like, the killer like, is naming stuff off the wall? What? And he's trying to get away with it. Is he like usual usual suspect? It might it's, be. It's um, crap. It's got uh Kevin Spacey in it. He's like a he's like a. Is Kevin Spacey the detective or the? Or he the is a he's a mentally disabled man, but he like goes around the but he like <laughs> says a bunch of stuff like in the room. Like he says like my name is Cat Poster. There's a Keen Peel skit on it, but he like goes over it and then the then like um he walks out of the building. Because yeah. he's at the actual like killer or whatever, and then he starts walking normal. He like, he actually doesn't have a disability, and then the detective the usual suspects. Yeah, that's what it is. And then the detective there. like looks around the room and starts noticing that like, holy shit, everything he says <laughs> in the room. Yeah. yeah, there's so many parodies of it. Yeah, that movie fucks. Brian, what I was saying earlier. Uh, yeah, there's a new Greg Dragon Ball character named Granola from Planet that's Serial. Cute. That's so cute. Is as that fuck. to do with the eye patch? Yeah, he is like uh, he sees extremely far. Do you, wa do you watch anime? <laughs> no, I read a manga. No, but do you watch generally? Do you watch an any anime no. other than Dragon Ball? No, I feel like anime hard. Tell you, put the microphone closer to your mouth. I feel like anime hard. Um, mm. why? What happened? This doesn't really click with me no more. Interesting. Mm. You know what anime does? Fuck, Fire Force, Demon Slayer. And, Fire Force uh, is not. Fire Force is good. No, it's suck not. my dick. It's uh, good. It's mm. good. It's so good. It's a hard. It's fun. It's, it's fun. <laughs> like it's crazy. not. It's not like revolutionary. You know, like it's not. Doing anything particularly, it was new to okay the for the first two episodes. Then I did, it was, fell dude, so hard. Isn't it every proper everyone, anime everyone, comes everyone out? Everyone gassed that anime up so it's hard, so good. and then immediately after four episodes dropped it. Jordan, hard. Not I'm on any Twitter. No one gassed that show up. Everyone gassed it up. What are no, you talking yeah. about? Dude, Fire everyone, Force. Had, right before it, it got <laughs> the anime, people were like, "Read Rod Force, read Fire Force." Yeah, yeah. and then it was just That's a mid ass anime. It's not. It's, I was super disappointed with it. It's not mid. It's pretty mid. It's not mid. It's not amazing. Dude, all right. You know, like it's not Demon Slayer, but it is good. It's got a lot and of Demon Slayer color. is also not you as can, good. Dude, Demon Slayer, Slayer is, is not also not as good as what Demon people Slayer say. is so good. He hates. He fucking Dragon. Attack and Titan, little bitch. Oof, Attack and Titan, <laughs> Ooh, Attack a little Titan. worm got in my neck, so I got to turn to a monster now. <laughs> Ooh, so, I'm gonna dude. bite my hand. Did I spoil you by a second? Just... No, we already seen that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I know everything, but about that's like out of context. Anyway, Attack and Titan. I do not. I watched when it Attack first came out. Yeah. Like, me too. Like one episode. And like, okay. I want to hear from Tay. I watched what? the first season. Uh, cultured no, anime watcher anyway. No, I, I read it because I'm curious about the Titans lore, and I read about that. I mean, we looked about it on YouTube. Yeah, Attack on Titans. I love the lore. So I interesting. Hate the show. A non-anime watcher. Yeah, wants like to, One wants Piece. To learn about how awesome. Yeah, same. Same with One Piece. Yeah. I love the lore. I, I fucking piece. hate One Piece. Watching is fucking awesome, dude. dude. Mm. The art style in One Piece is so. You still one of those guys? One Piece still battle to what, dude? There was one anime I go back. It's One Piece. That's one I was. You know, also is. Uh, does look here's a here's slaps. a hot take yeah, that does. people don't like is Hunter x Hunter is a mid ass show too. Hunter Hunter is I wouldn't say it's mid, but I wouldn't say it's amazing as people dude, say. I watched, the black community is mad at you. Right I, I watched that. <laughs> dude, black, hey, yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. Why do people? Why do the black that community gravitate to Hunter? I watched an entire show and I would kept just kept waiting. I'm like, who killer? When is this going to get good? What's the kid's name? Kila. Kila was the only one that was okay. He's the Sasuke. Yeah, yeah, he loves Sasuke. Sasuke. Yeah. But the, the OG. Shit, Gon only does like one cool thing to the. He turns into a man thing. Yeah, and that was it. That, and then it ends. 
He doesn't kill like the main guy or anything. Yeah. Are you well, saying the main guy doesn't God? even get defeated? The, the, the manga's not finished. The, it's an unfinished story. Yeah. Because the oh, it's on like the hiatus. Well, the author got sick, pregnant, got like terminally ill. He's a uh, who got pregnant and stopped. The some other author, some other author. I don't know who it is, but the guy that wrote Hunter X Hunter got terminally ill. Is you know he's of... married to the girl. Yeah, who but wrote to say Bleach? that. No, it's Fullman Alchemist. Fullman Alchemist. Oh, is it Fullman? Who yeah, that's the one that got pregnant, right? And he just stopped, right? No, he got sick. Oh, he got the sick. Hunter X Hunter guy got terminally ill. I'm afraid it's gonna happen to uh, Oda from One Piece because he always getting sick. Yeah, uh, I feel like he's gonna be one of those guys where the story is so grand he's not gonna finish. He's left. He's left notes on how to finish it though. He's left instructions. Like that was an that was not that was an article that I read. <laughs> yeah, what? it just it just says he opens up a note and says. <laughs> He finds the one piece. <laughs> no, like, even though, though even though, like, I don't, like, I, I know, I know what's happening at One Piece. I don't read it, but One Piece is fucking awesome. One Dude, Piece yeah, the story for One Piece rules. I can't wait probably five years to find what One Piece is. And the like, big, uh, the big set pieces in One Piece, like the big set fights, are so okay. well animated. He's fighting Kaido right now. There's so, Kaido. I have, I don't know. Watch, look at that. Who's, who's your favorite character? Yeah, Sanji. Sanji. Yeah. Mine's Zoro. Zoro. Zoro's fucking rules. Okay, like, One Piece is like either other anime that from my same person they. It doesn't. F- it feel like a world. Yeah, like, like, in like his cast camp, they don't spin off. They really wanted to. That's a great old. I like Crimp Crimp it Law. Who? Pardon? Crimp Crimp it Law. You know the guy with the with the tiny waist and then massive head. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I completely made that up. Yeah. Yeah, but say like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but that's a believable character in the show. Yeah, like Big Mom. It's a big ass fat, fat lady. She's strong. It's so yeah, ridiculous. She it's so fun. Her name is Big it's Mom. So fun. It's Mama. so fun. What's that's her big favorite big anime, Crockett? Tokyo Ghoul. If you say Attack on Titan, I'm walking out. Be Tokyo Ghoul. I wouldn't say Attack on Titan. I think that's one of my... I th- oh, dude, it's hard to say Psychopath because Psychopath Season 2 is uh, not... Psychopath like, Season 1 is really fucking fuck, good, Fuck, dude. Though. Psychopath Season 1 is so good. See, Any, I think anything with this uh, a more realistic, hard... real. I think Psychopath 1 is probably... Season 1 is probably like my favorite. Like soft sci-fi kind of thing? Yeah. Anything Which? that's like... Because like anything you watch that show, you're like, this is could be completely in the future. Real. This could all be real. It's like not that far from reality. Right. Yeah. Like Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is really Ghost good. In the Shell, yeah. Ghost in the I, Shell I, I need to get that from you again. I need yeah. to finish it. I have the 4K original movie. If you want it. Yeah, it's Carla I literally have a four, Ghost in the, the Shell collection. Good. That's literally an anime. Was so movie? Yeah, that was I like that movie. It's actually good. I liked it, but it, it was it was missed potential on the story. Think it could be better. I think it could be asked. could have been way better. Okay. Uh in terms like the narrative could have been way better. I the bullshit that happened with Ace and Johansson playing like a like an Asian woman. Completely makes sense with the, the lore of the movie. She's a replacement body, but no one, no one even saw the movie to like even yeah. know that. Yeah. So like, but my problem with the movie was like narratively, it just could have been a little bit more. If someone said it was solid. boring, I understand why. Yeah, and that's what I mean. It was yeah. just uh, there's so much lore for Ghost in the Shell. There's so much to draw from that I think they took a little bit too much of the boring pieces and they put into the film. But whatever. Ghost in the Shell is one of the shows I can just like just chill and just watch. Yeah. It's so rewatchable. It's got that good, like, uh, like sci-fi. Ain't hey, no, it's true story. I don't know why. Ever since I've been watching it, so I was growing up, I always watch it at nighttime. Yeah, never yeah. in daytime. Because the show almost never happens at daytime. Because it's like Toonami. That like it's, it's, yeah. I think it stuck with me. Oh, but. one of the best like comedic uh, animes I've ever seen is uh, Konosuba. That was just I have not seen that. One. Absolutely hilarious. Could not. I could watch every episode. It'd You're like a very weird. specific type of weeb. Am is that I? the clown? Yeah, guy? I mean a clown, but an octopus alien thing. No, that's a. Uh, is that Space Dandy? No, that's a uh, assassination class. Space Dandy's funny. What are you talking about? I remember to number four. Redline is a great. Uh, if we're gonna go into anime Redline's movies, a great movie, yeah. Redline is an amazing movie. Yeah, uh, by the same animator said so they did. Um, uh, Space Megalo Dandy. Boxing, I think, is a very good anime. But I think I, I was kind of duped because I really thought he was gonna get like upgrades to the boxing armor yeah. stuff. But it ended up that he like he boxes without it yeah. which kind of like dude you're kind of just he fights like with uh one hand behind his tied his back kind of yeah. thing and prevails but i really wanted to do that anime spice to it yeah. but that's an amazing anime if you ever if you like that more gritty realistic stuff. What's, what's your favorite anime that you know is not the best it's basically your favorite like mine's a digimon adventure in 1999 that's gonna be dragon ball super dragon ball super like dragon ball, like I, just dragon ball in general yeah have for me that's it's like it's really not the best you anime. know it's not the best but you just fucking and it love does it. a lot yeah. of things like very like tropey yeah but goddamn if i just enjoy the dragon ball episode yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just you know it's not the best thing. Yeah. There's no one piece. It's like, like yeah, it's like a trendsetter for sure. It's like it had its time. Like, let's say like twelve, like a twelve hours, a twelve episode run type show. They do a raw slaps. 
fucking love that show. First season, one? at least. Do Dura. Dura. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen it. Awesome show. That's what I made a tweet. Did I make a tweet about it? If four year feels like Dura a little bit. <laughs> what what feels like Dura? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, these kids are all fucked up. No, I oh, mean like how oh, like these characters have they like say like if Dura. I had a tagline for Euphoria and Dura, it would be like the kids aren't all right. <laughs> or like <laughs> it's one of those shows where like the kids like say like Zendaya. I think and I think Rose that show. Game. I think Dura got a little wonky around season two for me. Well, season two, but like just when they started going into the other girl with the, the so, yeah, exactly. I think it kind of gets like a little over convoluted. I think they said was like supernatural. Salty. Yeah, yeah, I uh, think I think, but that's the whole thing that show's based on is like supernatural lures. I was fine with that. Necessarily, you don't understand because it's Japanese lures. I literally watched the show to get away from all the shonen shit. Nice. So yeah. when I watched it, like <clears throat> that's how that's my opinion on like when I saw like Cecilia was fine. Mm-hmm. I like and, her. And yeah. She's zero. Just super strength. Uh, but when you get like Sakai, the the girl the with the sword, sa- sword like, this is kind of getting too yeah, and then too like, powers. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it, it just kind of gives. Well, it goes. Yeah. Because it has a nice through line, but it has like these side stories where it kind of just starts sh- going. I think that's the whole point of the show is because in Shibuya, it's just this mix, it's world. mixed batch of characters. Yeah. Yeah. How each and every one of these characters all end up going into the same direction. So. I'll say a four if it was like to me. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> and yeah. actually, I would say uh, the season four for the Stranger Things, they have a, I saw a TikTok Shit, on it and it was really did cool. You, did you watch anything past season two? Mm, I didn't. I don't remember yeah. season two. Did you watch season mm-hmm. two? What season three of Stranger Things? I've what's watched it? every season. What's really? the fourth of July? Interesting. It, there, it's it's getting less. It got think, rough. Think, it got rough for me after season two. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really care for season yeah. two. Season yeah. one though. Season one too. Why did I watch it back in the day? You it, but the first episode for season one. That is, I wish the entire show was just like that. Just as that is the best. One of the best episodes of TV that I've seen is. It's like watching. It's a movie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's a Spielberg gonna, movie. You ever seen Super Eight? Yeah. Yeah. Super Eight is literally Stranger Things. If you want a realistic. Uh, like I think it's rated. It's a rated R flick. Yeah, it is. They, they it, it's it's a lot of Super Eight. I love Super Eight. Really? Super Eight is a lot of fucking. Uh, that's they're the, like psychically linked or some shit. No, like that's that. that's uh that's Sense Eight. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that's uh what's the name of that movie? Um, <laughs> the Superman writer, the guy everyone hates now. Oh uh, no, Max Landis. That's Chronicle. You thinking about Chronicle, right? No, no, no. I'm no, thinking there's a, there's a show called Sense Eight, and there's what about another Super show. Super Eight is the Kaiju movie. It's giant, a, it's the, like an alien. It's, it's yeah. literally Stranger Things. Yeah. It's like there was a train that gets derailed. So you're thinking derailed. of Sensei. I'm thinking of Super I'm thinking 8. of Sensei. You're thinking of Chronicles. Yeah. He's talking about Super Eight. Yeah, I seen Super, Super <laughs> Eight. Remember when people thought Super Eight was a Cloverfield spinoff? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know what I'm? Do you know what we're talking about? Super Eight. I I thought you I were talking about Sense Eight. No, no. So no, no. Super Eight is a there is a government train that gets derailed, and then there's a monster on it. That gets like loose and then it starts plaguing this town, and it's up to these kids to figure out to stop the monster. It's literally, it was Stranger before, things, yeah. it was ever before, <laughs> yeah, Super 2011 or ever like before 10 years before Stranger Things. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's it. Was a it's a adult Stranger Things that you were looking for to get it was that. Radar, though? I believe, well, yeah, kids, I mean, they people die and stuff. Yeah, it was a pretty gruesome. Oh, I, you know who directed that? Um. Uh. Yes. Uh. The Clover. The guy who did Cloverfield. No. J. J. Abrams. J. J. Abrams. Yeah. J. J. Abrams. He did Cloverfield. Uh, the only good one. Yeah. He did uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane. Yeah. He, did Not he do that original. one too? No. He only did the second one. Yeah. He only did Lane. the second one. No. He did the first one too. No. The first. Oh one no. Was it is PG thirteen. But it is a realistic. J. Uh, J. Abrams didn't do Cloverfield from two thousand eight. I don't believe no. so. Let me double check. Uh, I think he, I want to say he was the producer on that one. And Matt Reeves, the the Batman guy, the Cloverfield. Absolutely. No I way. What, really? It. Yeah. Someone said that he's never made a bad movie, but... He didn't do the Matt first... Matt Reeves has never made a bad movie. He never did... It's a Mandela effect. He never did the first uh, eight movie. He did his two the two last ones. They call it the Matt Reeves trilogy. But oh. He never did the first Planet of the Apes. So oh, really? He just did the else. first two? You know, he did a second and third one. Second and third one? Yeah. yeah. The last two? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, Cloverfield, Cloverfield director. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. That made me even more hype. Man, I love the first great Cloverfield. director. Yeah, the first Cloverfield is awesome. fantastic. It's a great movie. One he did Let Me in? in. He did Let Me In. Yeah. Holy shit! Have you guys ever seen Let Me In? I've read the. I've read the. Book. That movie. I watched that movie when I was like fifteen or sixteen. That's awful, <laughs> dude. I was manically depressed after that. That movie <laughs> rubbed me in so many different weird ways. I watched the. Really I watched the Swedish version. Can we movie. talk about before we get into the actual? Yeah. I know we're. I know we're. We're getting way off hand here. I just cut off all. But the can we just talk about? Uh, why is there a movie called St- Dude? Why does this movie ever exist? Why in the writers' room where they're like, "That's a good name, Which we'll one? keep it." 
the midnight meat train. I think about, <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I think about this movie at least probably every two months. I'll th- it will come through my mind. And then, um, what's that guy's name? Bradley Cooper is in this movie. <laughs> this movie is an actually a really good uh, a horror movie. But yeah. it has the worst name. The Midnight Meat Train. The that Midnight like Meat Train, dude. That sounds like Awful. a porno. Sure. Yes, I, I know. know. It's like, how do they leave the writer's room? You're like, But the reason it has the name is because it's based on Clive Barker's short story. Yes, it, it was. Why his short story was like... Yeah, listen, th- Clive Barker was a weird bloke. Who, what else has he done? Uh, he did uh, The Nightmare on Elm Street. Which one? The remake? No, Clive Barker is like the original like horror guy. Uh, let me... Let me like, oh, dude, everything yeah. is always based off a book. Or um, or some or other type of media. There's never been that. original idea ever. I'm <laughs> straight. He's yeah, an author of foreign please. fantasy. He did the Damnation Game. Caesar. We've rolled the Grand and Secret Show. Am I, is he? Am I thinking of the the wrong guy? You guys seen that new coming called Bullet Train? Yeah. It's awesome. I have. I, I saw. I haven't seen the trailer, but oh, I saw the thumbnail. It looks really wait, good. Wait, did Matt Reeves do Cloverfield Paradox? Yeah, I thought J.J. Abrams did these movies. He no. must. Well, did, did he work on them? No. So J.J. Abrams did Lane, uh, Ten Cloverfield, Cloverfield Lane. Lane. Yeah. Matt Reeves. They're sometimes they're they're not like the director. They're just a producer on it or something. So it was produced by J.J. Yeah, Abrams. Actually, that's what it was. Okay. Directed by Julius Awanada. Remember, so I know the guy. One of the worst movies I ever seen. Mm-hmm. But every movie should follow the format, which they I think they were doing now. Is uh, what's the Cloverfield third movie? God particle, what is it? There's the a Cloverfield, new one coming out? The, the Cloverfield Paradox? The, the Netflix. I mean, as, soon as, as soon as the Super Bowl ended, they dropped this. This movie. is the Cloverfield, Cloverfield Par- Paradox. That movie Paradox. was fucking terrible. Yeah, that one was awful. We Hated talked about it movie. in our Super Bowl episode. That was bad. The Super Bowl episode? The one where we did the adverts for the Super Bowl. We talked about the time that it dropped. Yeah, we uh, also brought yeah. it up at the end of like how how weird it was for the Co- uh, Cloverfield uh, Paradox. Remember that? Because you got the trailer for the movie. Yeah. It was the best marketing for a movie ever. And the worst movie. That and then it was for the worst. One of Cloverfield, the worst movies ever. The first one I remember to mark that movie. It was scary. Like, the fuck yeah, is this? Yeah, dude. Cloverfield was like proper scary. Like found footage onto your TV screen. That was like mm-hmm. when found footage was like, a, and we could do a whole episode on yeah, found, found footage. Yeah, found footage. The the Blair Witch Project and Cloverfield are my prime example of really well done. I want a guy's little movie about like Cloverfield. Yeah. They don't really have uh, 2014 Cloverfield. is about the closest you we can get. No. I mean, that's the way he... Um, what uh, Ed, uh edwards directed no because he did he does a lot of found f- not like a he did scaling really well and scaling? i can get on a whole t- tangent on this but we probably really need to get into the main yeah, topic yeah, yeah. of the show let's save that for another episode yeah. let's yeah. talk about let's talk so about disagree completely but yeah. let's talk about <laughs> found footage. Right. <laughs> this will be an after show fist fight <laughs> so speaking of movies <clears throat> let's talk whatever, about yo. yeah whatever happened to how can I, video game how's the how it's title what happened to movie tie-in games? Yeah. Is so that, is that how you put it? Though? Movie tie-in. So movie tie-in games are games that are based on the property of a movie. Yeah. 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 Video games that turn into movies are video game movie movies. adaptations. Okay. Yeah. So that's we were talking about it earlier, but I did a whole write-up on Ooh a Bowl because I thought the topic was video game movie adaptations and not movie tie-in what games. Ooh a Bowl is a German director, awful guy. I'll talk about him later in another <laughs> episode. Um, but yeah, so. How how long? This was like early 2000, 2005, like, no, 2007. No, 90s, 2000s. Because apparently I was reading an article. They made a Street Fighter the movie, the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and it played like Mortal Kombat. That's so So funny. it's two different like. It really, yeah. I mean, but it really never really started becoming a huge thing until 2000s, GoldenEye. When GoldenEye came Golden out. GoldenEye was the, the primordial Modern movie tying game. game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So movie tying games, we've all played good. them. We've heard <laughs> about them. And there was a, an era where they were extremely well made and well thought out, and then they just didn't. Then they just stopped being well made. Well, and honestly, well thought out. I think there's only a selected one that was actually good. I think they generally are pretty bad. Generally, yeah, I think so. Because they were rushed to the market just to come out when around a movie comes out, or at least before the movie what comes a, out. It's a, such a weird marketing thing. Yeah, because or slightly after Star you know, Wars. And, um, What's the third movie? Revenge of the Self. Revenge of the came Self. out before the movie, if I'm not mistaken. The game came out before, before the movie. movie. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. That's weird. And the movie, the movie has the game has like all of the beats of the fucking movie. But it has one of those things I said, like it just it's those it says the movie's name. Yeah. But it does its own shit too. Right. Yeah. So let, let me write the little write up that that Tay wrote here. During the nineties and early two thousands, hit movies such as Harry Potter, Rimey Spider Man trilogy. The Mortal Kombat movies, Star Wars, and many more got video game adaptations. Many of these games had the story beats of the films while also being its own thing, excluding the gameplay. 
from adding newer scenes and characters that's not in the film, etc. So this is a weird hybrid of like whatever was happening in the movie and then whatever the game developers needed to happen to excuse the gameplay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that being said, what's... What are some of these like movie tying <laughs> games that you like remember fondly? Spider Man Two is the one that comes the most. Spider Man Two fucked. E two, yeah. what? We cannot. No, we, can't, entire, we can't do this episode without E T. This entire story E.T. has a game. That game. You know that right? Oh, the Atari E T. Yeah. yeah. No, they that game sucked. Yeah, it was so yeah. bad. <laughs> it's a lit. You can make an episode about that with a game. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like it was so bad. They they they. They went, dumped it. They, they dumped, dumped it. it. Yeah, because it, it was. I think it was yeah. going to be cheaper to <laughs> dump all the file. I can't remember yeah. the, the story for it. This is all like the, one of those legendary video games. Legendary games. Stories. All the cartridges. It was cheaper to just dump them out into dump them <laughs> than try to but, sell them. Yeah, but I think years later, I think people went and dug them up, and now yeah. they're reselling them. Everywhere. Yeah, there's like there's like a few limited hundred amounts. They found a lot. Pretty sure erosion fucked them up. <laughs> it depends because oh, some of them God. some of them were kept in houses. Some of them were just like safely in there. But yeah. And so what are some games you with awful. ET? It's almost considered like one of the worst video games ever yeah. made. It is the worst video game yeah. ever made. I don't think you can like progress after the first level. And that was yeah. back in, I guess that was one of the, very one of the first games to like do a kind of like a tie-in. Because mm-hmm. uh, that was in 1982. I mean, that was Atari. That's before we had any, that's before SNES and NES. Is Jaws older than ET? Jaws was 79, I yeah. believe. I thought Jaws was 75. No, Jaws is not that old. No. It's pretty old. It's pretty old, but I think it's 79. I was watching the other one. No, it's 75. You're right. Yeah. Shit. I was there. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite movie tying games? Uh, Spider-Man 2. I had Finding Nemo game on Game Boy. That, that game it was did. a puzzle game. Yeah, that game you had to find stuff. like the, what is the, what he did? The the pearl, the, the lock, the, I'm really trying to escape. Yeah, he did a pearl in the thing to stop it from moving or whatever. Oh yeah, the yeah, game's yeah. based oh, off into that. the um, the filter. The game is based off the entire concept. Interesting. Yeah. that's fun. That's kind of that's fun. a whole game right there, yeah. just in the fish tank. It's yeah. a possible trying game, to escape. Yeah, yeah. nothing would move. How long is the game? <laughs> from a child standpoint, like <laughs> twenty hours long. <laughs> 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 Expansion story and all that shit. The game's only, only like two hours long. Yeah, it's probably like two hours long. But for a kid, it's six months right there. Yeah, this one of the games were because I remember you had to write codes down, so I got a little. Uh, Mail package and like wrote that's the codes do you remember up when there. the manuals would have like notes in the back of them? Yeah, that's how they basically yeah. were doing. Yeah, that's that's Take what that whole back. thing was for. Yeah, like, I I hate that that doesn't happen anymore. Can you imagine playing Elden Ring with a fucking people are doing note, that apparently notebook. Yeah, people are taking notes on uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what a stupid ass time we live. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. How about you, Crockett? My favorite tying games. No. Um, I d- I have two. That I can think of right now. There's probably some more, Shrek but two. definitely. Oh, I remember the, the GameCube Shrek Two video game was so good. So good. I remember me and my cousin yeah. playing on GameCube, and that was really fun. Yeah. Surprise. That surprisingly, when games are still like just there's for a, there's a weird time where so well, it's actually a hit or miss. Some of yeah. them were actually developed really good. Yep. And some of them were just it's literally just for marketing. For <laughs> Yeah, it was so, so Shrek 2 is probably, or sh- was it Shrek? Shrek, Shrek 2 was a game that was supposed to be just for marketing purposes. <laughs> but that just ended so up good. slapping. <laughs> That's how Spider Man 2 was. Yeah, same. Yeah, Spider Man <laughs> 2. They were so fucking good, and it's they so had no good. business being that good. Shit. Spider Man 2, there's one stage in Spider Man 2. I was like, I was like maybe like nine or 10 when that game came out, uh, maybe younger than that. And there's one scene in the game where you have to go into like a stadium and Dr. Ock is like oh, yeah. grabbing people and you have to like save them. <laughs> I spent three weeks on that stage. I could not fucking beat it. That's how Spider-Man 3 was for me. Venom was hard as fuck. Yeah, it's crazy how difficult some of those uh, games were. Not by virtue of being difficult, just by virtue of like bad, bad design. game design. Yeah. yeah it, it was a it fucking was. problem. <laughs> yeah. Shrek, Shrek Super, Super Slam was yeah. the game I'm referring to. No, I didn't play that. What one. is that one? This one was that. like a... Uh, yeah, that's one I played. Shrek I guess you could say it was like a... Um, Party game? Party game, Sounds yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, like a like a knockout. Uh, what What is that game called? The like, like Super Smash. Or, uh, situation? Smash yeah. Bros. Super game. Yeah, yeah. it was a like a, a version of that that was really fun. Why were Shrek games good? What, what, what were the Why were the Shrek movies good to begin with? They're such a weird concept. Shrek is an enigma. In terms that is, of, like, yeah, it's marketing. super... And as of two days ago, Shrek 1 and 2 is on Netflix, which I'm going to watch really? this podcast. That's yes. awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm going to watch the fuck out of those. Let me see. Is this the game that I'm awesome. thinking of? Yeah, it was a fighting game. I remember you used Fionn. No, okay. So that's not the one that I'm thinking of. The one that I'm thinking of was like a tie-in to the, the yeah, story. Yeah, that was Shrek 2 for me. Yeah. Shrek 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that game, I played it with a girl that I had a crush on. It was an action-adventure game. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. I played it with a girl that I had a crush on uh, back when I was a kid. Mm. And that was a great time. I love that. It Speaking was of that, phenomenal. That is a lot of Kung Fu Panda one game was pretty decent. Kung Fu Panda, the, the Kung game. Fu Panda. Had no yeah, actually, system. here, I'm, uh, yeah. there's actually an ex- expansive amount. This is, I'm not even going to cover all <laughs> yeah, every yeah. game, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to run through them real quick. So these are all like the, or not all, but these are a, a good chunk of like video game tie in movies yeah. that you may not know of. Uh, there's so there's Chronics of Riddick, Escape from Butcher's Bay. It's fucking awesome. I don't know if you guys remember Chronics of Riddick. I've that never was, played uh, it, but that was such a great. I've seen it, but I don't remember shit from. Uh, I, I had a pirated Xbox when I was a kid. My dad like modded an Xbox, and I had access to a shit ton of pirated games. Chronicles of Riddick was one of them. <laughs> and I remember launching it and being scared of Riddick. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. cause, yeah, because <laughs> Vin Diesel. Movie. That's what made, actually made Vin Diesel famous. Was yeah. that movie right there? Uh, <laughs> the Warriors. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember. Is that, that the movie? The that's Warriors a Rockstar's movie? game. The Come War- out to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. That's it. Uh, there was a Lord of the Rings, uh, the Two oh, Towers. I one play. Of the, I played this. One of the Which best is? games ever released. It was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's one of those games you choose like four characters in a party, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. I played this game. One of the best the short, games ever released. The Dwarf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to play. Uh, is it Aragorn? Fuck, Aragorn? I forgot Aragorn? about that. I remember running through to like the week yeah. four or whatever. Dude, was. there's one level where you fight a giant like troll creature mm-hmm. yeah. uh, that I could never fucking get past <laughs> in, in that game. It was a nostalgic game. Like, yeah, it was a good sure. game. Lord of the Rings 2 Towers was a very good game. Uh, we also have uh, Enter the Matrix. Also a phenomenal True story. Game. This game is one of the few get- tie-in games that's actually canon. That's the MMO. Yeah. That's that, the MMO. Is it MMO? It's the, the MMO. Which MMO. one where Morpheus gets killed? It's the oh, MMO. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the MMO. Uh, so this one this one plays the events of the movie. The MMO expands on the movie. I think I may play Matrix before. Yeah, Enter the Matrix was really good. I think I played this. We also have uh, Disney's Aladdin. Wait, before... It was Enter the Matrix kind of like a like a Max Payne yeah. ripoff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down uh, time this. and everything. Yeah. It's good. Just a lot of like mechanics. Just yeah. like, they're like, yeah, you want to do that in a video game? <laughs> this is what, uh, so and then there was Peter Jackson's King Kong. Uh, uh, people play this game is actually fucking incredible. It's the first person. Yeah, it's it. actually renowned as one of the best tie-in video games. You don't play as King Kong. You play as some guy with a gun. That's so funny. Yeah, that game I've actually had that. like super realistic, in-depth uh, mechanics in the game where yeah. you actually had to check your magazine and your gun <laughs> to see how many bullets you actually had. It was so terrible, awesome. King Kong. That makes that makes me want to play it. That's uh, pretty sick. I didn't know this was a game. Uh, that came out. So the thing has a video game by Konami. The thing, as in, Thank as God. in Fantastic Four, the thing. No, or you're the, talking about. Oh, you're talking the about thing, John Carpenter's the, the thing. Yep. John's Carpenter's yeah, yeah, the yeah. thing. This is one of yeah, like the Matrix. It's one of those games that's canon too. Oh, I remember reading about okay. this. Let yeah. me see. And then, uh, again, another game that I did not know that existed. Uh, Die Hard trilogy. <laughs> uh, that that has a video game. Are they Christmas games? <laughs> Alongside, we also have GoldenEye, Spider Man 2. Nice one. Or, well, yeah. I should say Spider Man 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Yeah, all uh, three of them. And I played, I think I played all of them, and all of them were pretty decent. Spider Man 1 was uh, basically a. a was enhanced a, version of PS1 game rescanned. Yeah, yeah, that's what I yeah. thought because I remember playing a Spider Man on PS1. And it played like that. But Spider Man 2 and 3 were like, or completely different games from the yeah. PS1. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. And then here's a little shout out for Colin. Yeah. Uh, Ratatouille, the game? Dude, Ratatouille is fucking. Which, the movie rules. I've seen him play. speed run that game yeah. so many times. That game is so broken. Uh, <laughs> Lego Star Wars, which that's a whole franchise on its own. So, no, one. I, I didn't think of Lego Star Wars as a. As a movie count? time? Yeah, because yeah, it, I mean, it uses properties from the movie. It's not, it's not like. They actually, and then they also have like tie in trilogies and sagas. Because yeah. there is Star Wars games, then it's also the Lego But they follow the games. events of the movie. Yeah. Does they, Loose, they loosely follow the events of the movie, so that would make them tie-ins. Okay. I think like like the Force Unleashed is not a movie. No, tie-in. not a movie tie-in. Yeah. And the new one that came out, the Jedi, Fallen Order, the, the so- Fallen Order. So is, like they have like Lego Revenge Fallen of Order, Sith and. Uh, I mean, not necessarily. It, it sets its place. In, it's kind of like the Mandalorian. Yeah. It's in the universe, but it doesn't follow a piece of media that already exists. It's been calling me lately. Too. I need to get back to that. That game is really. It's actually yeah. really fun. It's a. Uh, hate to say it. It's uh, Souls. It's a soul. It's a Souls like. Souls like. So uh, yeah, I didn't. Get I wouldn't say it's it. a Drekel Souls. Well, it's got it's a difficult. The difficulty scaling in the game is Souls. Really? Well, the contrast. game, the whole gameplay, the bonfire resting and everything, all of the mechanics are in the Jedi Falling Order. It's a it's what they call a Souls like. Yeah, I didn't uh, get not that a Souls clone, though. but just a a Souls base game. I didn't finish it though. I need to get back. Neither do I. It's just it's the good. the puzzles in that game was fucking brutal. 
Like they're like, some of them were pretty fucking hard. Pretty, pretty challenging. Yeah, I had to call. I had to phone in a friend to be half of them. Really? Same. Um, <laughs> Star. Oh god. Uh, I was Star Wars a... uh, Connect. Do you guys remember this? Ah, uh, is that the the, the Han, Han Solo, Solo dancing yeah, Solo. one? I'm done. I don't yeah. remember this. That's you don't like... remember the Star Wars Connect game? No. Oh, they... it was god awful. So there's a, a there's a Just Dance on Connect, and they made a Star Wars version of it. Um, so you dance? So yeah, you dance. Yeah, it's and, and it's like Han you Han Solo's the up there characters. like dropping it low. I'm Han Are you Solo. in like a uh, fucking cantina place dancing? It was I don't I I dude I wish I could tell you anything more, but it's you know, such a fucking. Where, where's that scene on the Death Star where it's like all uh, steaming, and it's like uh, Han Solo and Darth True. Vader and uh, Luke's there. The Carbonite scene. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a background scene for <laughs> dancing. Why would he do that for the Carbonite? <laughs> Dude, um, why did they make a Star Wars da- dancing game anyway? <laughs> if uh, it was Star Wars before Disney, that game would have been canon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it was pre-Disney, that game would have been canon. Star Wars is one of those properties like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah. It, it does go fucking crazy. Like the Christmas episode? No one knows, but that's Boba Fett's first appearance. Yeah. He, really? On the, the Christmas Star, special? On the, uh, yeah. It's a shitty special. That's his first appearance. Really? That's canon. Yeah. Damn. We also Damn have the, the Lion King tie-in game. Uh, Some of the Panda. hardest games to ever come out. No, actually, those the Sega 90s Genesis. Disney games are really, really renowned, like great games. Yeah, they're great. The, but the, the depends on what version you're playing. The yeah. PS1 version of the Lion King is really good. I'm talking about NES days, Sega Genesis. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Sega Genesis one sucked. Like, no, I heard those were the ones that got praised. Like, Aladdin, what's the one? DuckTales was fantastic. DuckTales was good. Yeah. There were just specific ports. Like, if you played it on SNES, mm-hmm. you had a better time than playing it on Sega. Was DuckTales part the, of the Tales series? What are you talking about? The yeah. Tales series, the Tales games. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you get it? Tales yeah, of Arise. Do, yeah, no, I got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah, Jordan, yeah, just yeah. to tell you one doesn't mean you're a fan. <laughs> I am a fan. I'm a big fan right I now. I knew what this series was way before I met you. I knew what a Tales games was. No, he wasn't. No one ever played them, though. PS3 they, they, wasn't, they wasn't good. I had friends that played them. I they played, wasn't that good I, I played one called Arise. The Tales of Atelier Sophie. That's the one that I played. Yeah, like Shut the one, hell up. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is it? It's a, it's, a tales, it's a Tales game, but my girlfriend, my ex used to play it. So. What does she got over here? Okay. All right. Well... I, I, I keep wanting to read this list, but you yeah. guys just want to... Keep, I'm oh, sorry, so we're just going to keep stopping on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so while we're going to stop on the next one, Ghost Rider, this is the probably one of my favorite this. tie-in video game ever. Yeah. I played so many hours of Ghost Rider on I, PSP. I believe that it was really fun. I never played it. Uh, this is one of the first games I ever did. Uh, it was super weird. I don't know how we even did this, but you could... Uh, on the PSP, on Ghost Rider, there was multiplayer <laughs> where you could link up with someone else with a PSP and what you the, could and you could race each other in it. Is that is that a racing game? It had racing. It the had the multiplayer was like a racing, but they also had uh, <laughs> hack and slash God of War slash Dude, combo. Ooh, that far the chain. It was yeah. It oh, was that really farts. good. It was a really good game. I remember playing the Iron Man game on PSP. I do not remember. Oh, dude, Iron shit! Man. This looks good. Oh, I oh I know <laughs> yeah, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, that was like when the age of like Transformers yeah. and all those. Games oh, yeah, I played Transformers game too on PSP. The Transformers <laughs> War of Cyber, uh, Cybertron. This looks exactly like God of War. Yeah, no. it, it was really good, dude. That's awesome. It, it fit really well with a go, the Ghost Rider yeah. aesthetic. And then you're in hell and you're fighting like. Hold on, hold on. They have Fast and Furious games. I I'm so, sure they do. You guys probably don't remember this. I do because I visually remember saying. That game looks like the worst game ever made, and apparently it was one of the reverse reviewed movie tie-in games. Was Next recent? up on the list, we have Fast and the Furious Showdown. <laughs> this was this came out, I swear to God, probably two years ago. There seems to be. I remember a... watching the E3. No, this like, was last year it came out. I know you're talking about. Is that the recent? Was it last year? Hang on, let me. There was one a... called Fast and the Furious Crossroads. Is it the Game Awards last year? Yeah, Crossroads was the one that came out. Oh, is that the one I'm thinking of? Though? Yesterday, I mean not yesterday, <laughs> yesterday year. year. Uh. But there might be one. Yeah, Crossroads came out a year ago. <laughs> had, oh, Showdown came out on the PS3. Had 360 graphics. Yeah. Remember Wheelman? Hey, that's what I was just about to say. <laughs> Wheelman was actually a really good, good game, game, which yeah, no one thought of. No one what? knows this game. Wheelman was a stuntman uh, action game where you could be play as Vin Diesel. Oh, I do remember Wheelman. Vin Diesel was the character. Dude, that game fucking ruled. jump car to car. And shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I played that I game rented this back in the day. for hours just to crash into shit. That yeah. was a great time. Like a GTS kind of <laughs> Vin Diesel. Games like, they don't make games like that no more. No. Are you remember the Jet Li game? 
Dude, no. I, uh, the, do you remember the game Stranglehold? <laughs> no. So, uh, John Woo, the director. Oh, you told me about this before. Yeah, you it on the podcast, actually. Oh, yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. Dude, that game? <laughs> Hours. That's what Jet Li was. Hours. Dude, it's it's so based on a game based off this fucking badass actor. Yeah. I, I played a game shit. based on Bruce Lee on Xbox that fucking ruled. It was called Bruce Lee Fist of the Dragon. <laughs> and boy, when I got those nunchucks, I was fucking them ninjas up. It was so much <laughs> they fun. They don't make it like that anymore. They don't. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Fast and Furious Showdown was the worst reviewed movie tie-in game. Yeah. Damn. We also have Fight Club on here. Which <laughs> fight, fight Club, fight club I feel like, would have been... I don't know if it got reviewed yeah. bad or good. Is but that a boxing game? A real good fucking game, serious. But F- Fight Club <laughs> seems a- a- absolutely a video Bryce. game that took one aspect from the name and was like, "Yeah, we can make a fighting game out of this." <laughs> but Fight Club is literally it's not it's not really even about fighting. It's a whole another no. It's eco-terrorist. about terrorists. It's about anti capitalism and anti terrorists, right? Like, and like each, yeah, each eco terrorist. Think about something else. Wasn't it a game called Fight Club series? Uh, Oh, are you thinking about uh, thinking of Fight Night? Def Jam? Je- Def Jam? Je- Je- that's Def what I'm thinking of. Jeff Dam? God, he's fucked up so bad. Def Jam. Def Jam. Def Jam, that's what Def Jam Fight for like... New York. Top 10 Dude. games of all time. Fight for the New York. Who was the Flavor? Ludacris was, was my main. Was Flay? <laughs> <laughs> he was. <laughs> was Flay? <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg's a villain ima- game. Dude, th- that is insane. Snoop Dogg would imagine like you're making it into evil. They don't make it no more like that. No, that shit was really fun. Was, uh... Who was the Drunken Fist? Was that Flava Flav? I can't remember. It was like a shit ton of characters. Yeah, there was, there was one that fought in the Drunken Fist style. I adored him. Like, Snoop Dogg's a bad guy. He's yeah. the coolest motherfucker. That <laughs> with the cane Dude, and shit. Oh, those games are so good, <laughs> man. They don't make it like that yeah. no more. The one for 360 was not good. No, I remember prior this one. to that was really good. I mean, me and my cousin was like, this isn't good as the PS2 one. No. We could oh. have a whole episode on like games, forgotten yeah. games like that. Do you guys remember the, the backyard wrestling, the redneck wrestling games? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a white people shit. No. Hey, dude, I'm speaking just... of fun games, uh, is it movie tie-ins. Uh, fuck. What's the movie with a raccoon and turtle? They're trying to steal food. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, I love the hedge. Game. The hedge. Over the, over the, the hedge. Game over the hedge. I rented a game like three times. That was good. It, it, was, was, really it good. was a lot of fun. I feel like mm. speedrunners like, thri- thri- thrive in these games. Yeah. Because they're so but, shoddily put together that you can find a glitch to break <laughs> it in like fucking six yeah, seconds. It's a bad. Yeah. That's what Ratatouille, there's a glitch in Ratatouille that you literally like do a jump and then land on something and then you're at the ending of the game. It's so funny. I think Incredibles, I remember growing up, like, this other Incredibles game. Yeah, those were fun. Then the second one came out and people were like, oh shit, this is the sequel to the movie. But then when they made the sequel in real life, it wasn't nothing like that. Yeah, nothing I like think. the original game. Was the drill guy in the second movie? Drill guy? The mole guy? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Uh, fuck if I know, man. We also have yeah. uh, Batman Begins. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. What was that one? I can't yeah. imagine a Batman game, a Batman game that's not the Arkham anymore. See, I want to transition to that. So around that time, Nan they start taking licensed properties and making to like a real fictionalized yeah. games like Fallen Order or Arkham series or Marvel Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see. Yeah, I would like to see uh, an Arkham's Asylum game or movie. I, I think, think that'd the, be a really good. I think uh, that's what we're we're yeah, getting closer fuck. to that with the Batman. Yes, cannot wait for that. Yeah. That's what I want so badly. Yeah, dude, the, yeah. the Arkham series, Arkham series, except Arkham Knight. I like Arkham Knight, but I understand why people hate it. I, li- I like a lot of Arkham Knight, but what? it's when it, it it's like the problem with like happens, like the stakes keep getting higher and higher, yeah. and then you gotta wait like five years before making another one. I remember I made a big deal about the um, Arkham Knight. Like we already even fans knew who this was way before at least. Oh, it's <laughs> fucking Jason it Todd. Okay, they made a big deal about it again. Yeah. That was bad. What, what were you gonna say, Corey? I was trying to remember if there was a Death Race game. I feel like there, yeah. there is. Death I feel like there has to be. I think what it's is, a mobile game. What The Batman Begins game, what does that play like? Probably, uh, I don't know. I can't even imagine. It's probably like a, like a beat-em-up. Probably. Yeah. He probably actually fights better than Christian Bale. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. That was a Christian Bale movie. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite, Ar- uh, not Arkham, but uh, Bale movie from Batman. No, uh, Batman movie. Begins? Yeah, that's my favorite one of the streets. Nice. I like The Dark Knight, but I like The Dark Knight for every other reason that's not Christian Bale. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Christian Bell was fine, but the movie was just better than him. Do you know how hard it was to be a comic fan around that time? <laughs> but yeah, you guys got fucked. You guys no, got just, That's all you hear. It's Batman, Batman. You know uh, how this guy is. What's that? <laughs> the animation for Batman climbing the stairs in this game is so It's bad. like he just like this. He, he <laughs> he's just <laughs> he looks like a fucking wet noodle. Anyway, Batman Begins. That shit looks awful. It's definitely a more like 
it's like an action adventure beat em up type yeah, game. The get out for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. And then E. T. Get that get that E. T. It is like here. yeah, E. T. I remember you can't you like, can't talk about a list like this without without E. T. Yeah, ET, that's true. ET, ET, ET the first and one. Golden Eye is like the two main things. Golden Eye, in my opinion, is like the quintessential movie adaptation. I mean movie tying game. Mm. That's well, like, that's what made them really big. Yeah. It's like they they took the property and then they abandoned what didn't work as a movie <laughs> and then they added what worked as a game. And I think that that's kind of the sacrifice that you have to take when you're developing a movie tying game. Like, sure, you're making something loosely related to the movie, but at the end of the day, you have to design the game around it. Yeah. And I feel like if you take some losses on the narrative, you can make a really, really good I'm surprised someone's not just uh, ran with it before and just made like an absolute banger of a game and just kind of said fuck all to the studio. Because, I mean, essentially, like the studio doesn't really care. It's a marketing thing. Well, that happened with uh, that happened with uh, X-Men Origins. X-Men Origin has nothing to do with the movie. Slap. That's one of the best ones. X-Men Origin is my favorite movie tying game. Oh really? Yeah, I remember renting this too. The Wolverine is literally Wolverine in a movie. Yeah, really. Like you, like you can cut, you can see your body tear up and shit, and it mm-hmm. regenerates over time. Like you see his bones and shit while you fight. It was a very action based game. Yeah, it was awesome. Fucking, it I was a very linear game. action game. Yeah, uh, it's like it's still the same premise as like the movie X Men Origins. Mm-hmm. It's like you're back in time in the seventies. You go back and forth between Preston Wolverine and and Bone Claw Wolverine in the mm-hmm. seventies. And the story is like loose related to the film. fighting jungle and shit. Yeah. But man, they fucking went their own way. They introduced mutants that yeah. make no sense in the movies. They introduced characters from the movie that got killed off in this game. <laughs> uh, X Men Two Wolverine was a uh, X Men Two Wolverine was also a really, really good game. game. I've been on Game Boys. Yeah, fucking awesome. So yeah, like, I feel like like X Men has a really good track record of like making a game based on a movie that actually works. But X Men Origin, X Men Origin, fucking slaps. Uh, even though I played a PSP one. Apparently, the first Transformers movie game on the major consoles mm-hmm. was really good. I haven't played um, it. Like Transformers, the movie, the game. I know the second one sucked. Fallen. What is the Revenge of the? F- I do not remember. It, Revenge I, of the Fallen was the second movie. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, but it, the Transformers one game was like open world, transform anytime you want type of game. Yeah, you can like shit around and shit. Yeah. Little sidebar, uh, that's one of the hardest things to model as a transformer because oh, you I have to bet. have a model for. Good lord! You have to have you have to make a model for a car. You have to make a model for the in between between car and uh, robot, and then mm. you have to make the robot. I see this movie every time I think of it. It's the same thing. It's yeah, it's I'm sure that there's that so many an absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah. I'm sure that there are so many things underneath, like the paneling that you see, like. Like underneath the big block of details that are just like this fucking just snaps here and snaps there. Like that animation inside the exoskeleton of the Transformer has to be so janky. I, yeah. I, I can't imagine. Every time I see this movie, I think it's the exact same thing. Yeah. Like, good lord. All those pieces and shit. So we do. Okay. So we just listed a bunch of movie game titles. Some of them good. Some of them awful. Yeah. Why do you think the bad ones are bad? Because they rush you to market. I don't think they really care. I think- mean, like, let's break it down. They probably get, let's say, a AAA game gets made in within three, three, three and a half years, years four yeah. years. Uh, these games get made in within probably 12, uh, 11 months, probably. Yeah, super short. Uh, and then their, their team <laughs> is probably old. comprised of probably maybe 20 people. Yeah, 50 people max. They're yeah, never, there's, mean, there's like a small team working on them. Uh, some unknown studio. One guy that probably does <laughs> the sound design, modeling, texturing, <laughs> uh, probably a little bit of directing here and there, and then and other the guys voice acting too. <laughs> <laughs> By development, fucking forty five people marketing fucking the game. Yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I think that the part of the reason why not only like uh, do they just kind of get picked up by like an unknown studio. That's starting out because a lot of studios that made movie tying games are now really successful companies. That's what pushed them out there. Um, that's what put them into the game. That's what allowed them to pay the bills to stay as, you know, game developers and whatnot. But it's true. They just get a contact from like Sony and it's like, hey, I need you to make a fucking Fantastic Four video game. You got a month and a half. You got like a year and a half to <laughs> figure it out. And so they have to like decide, oh, shit, what kind of games it's going to be. It's just funny, though, because like... Um so, like, say if, like, the Charter movie came out in, like, 2002. Yeah. The Uncharted series has already been a thing, but someone would make Uncharted movie, the game. Yeah, that's would true. would be fucking wild, right? It would have been crazy, yeah. It yeah. would have made no sense. It would be crazy. Uh, but another thing, another thing that I think happens is that 
the studio or Sony, the, or the property owners also come in and they say, we need a fighting game based off of this, or we need a, a shooter game based off of this, or we did an action adventure game based off of this property. Figure it out how to get there. Just and sometimes <laughs> their properties don't align with the genre that they're picking. Like there's a Captain America video game that I'm came out for 360 this. that like, is just full of quick time events and like just rubbish. I think I play on the Wii. That came out. Yeah, it was it was fucking bizarre. And those are the kind of decisions that they just make because they just need a marketing tool to get the name out there. And it's like, yeah. oh, Captain America video game. Let's let's. No one remember this game. Yeah, no one remember the game, <laughs> but they remember the movie. Yeah, 360. I think was riddled with PS3 and 360 had, was riddled with like games like that. Like, yeah, these yeah, yeah. junk games, especially during the 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 end of the life cycle. Yeah. And and the Wii was full of them. <laughs> The Wii yeah. was shock fucking. Sure that's the only thing that it ran. Yeah. Like, I'm glad those <laughs> games kind of went away though. Cause they were like, as you look at them now, you're older, you like, you know they're shitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They rush you to market on it. The the Wii had all of the like the Pixar Disney animated movie ones that were like bad. Frozen. They were just like shitty platformers. I have a frozen game on PS4. Yeah, that, that's there's a puzzle game. Like uh Candy Crush. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> there's <laughs> actually a March of the Penguins video game. What movie? March, March of the, of the Penguins. Penguins? Is that a Disney documentary movie? Yeah, the documentary. <laughs> they had yeah. a video game tie-in. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a side scroller. <laughs> like he's just hopping point. over shit. You just run around. It's just a cameraman chasing a penguin. <laughs> I don't remember this. What? What was this thing? <clears throat> I don't. I don't know. I think they just had like, oh, like we need more. Again, it's just a marketing thing. <laughs> it's just they use it as a tool to like tie into the the Pull yeah. Express game. It's relatively cheap marketing, and the thing is that so what other form Wait, of like if what? they made a polar did they make a Pull Express? I think they game? Oh yeah, they if sure they, did. If they made it a train racing game, hundred <laughs> percent that would have been a one month. Santa Claus skin. If you could have drifted the fucking train on ice, I would have hundred percent bought that. There's game. only one train. No, but they got to make multiple trains. That would have been multiple. Pro- what would that game even be like? What would it be the gameplay of that? Like, do you just have to like strategically press a lot of switch? <laughs> dancing, you dancing in the scene. <laughs> You're probably stealth, stealth, by like in the North Pole or something like that. That's, that's right. So fucking that's right. Fun. They're trying to hide, right? It'd be some. <laughs> they're trying to sneak into the train. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm so sick of that movie. It's Metal Gear Solid ass gameplay. Yeah, you're like sneaking through Santa, the train. Where's my ticket? <laughs> yeah. Tom Hanks is trying to hunt you down. That's <laughs> right. He is a what's that guy. Santa, I can't find my ticket. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Yeah, I really just think it's a it's a combination of like the market being like too like super saturated with those kind of games and then them having to be rushed out so quickly to meet the marketing demands of whatever studio bought it. Uh and you know, sometimes like if a studio got time, we would get like a good tying game, like Goldeneye. Or, there were so or many. Wolverine. Eventually, you could pick, the, but there's more w- bad than good. Yeah, yeah, there is more bad than good. If you make so many, there's going to be a couple of diamonds in the rough. Yeah, there. absolutely. Uh, what do you think? What's a great? What's a movie that didn't get a tying game that you think would have been fantastic? Bro, I was thinking about it. Kill Bill by Team Ninja. Are you <sighs> fucking kidding me? I, whoa, hell that, yeah! That, I have, that actually does sound very. I bad. have <laughs> never thought about that. Yeah. Kill Bill and now Ninja. I'm going to be thinking about that Are for the rest of my life. Me? That oh. would be incredible. Top 10 game, dude. Or oh. Platinum Games doing it. Platinum, yeah, Platinum yeah. Games would be doing would be yeah. do, would do it justice, but I need yeah. I need Tim Ninja, Ninja to handle it cuz they like a little bit more technical. Let's do a Ninja guy in the skin with Kill Bill. That's yeah, all. Yeah. I want. <laughs> That's literally all I need. That was slap, dude. God, that, yeah, that would yeah. fucking rule. And still some of the cinematic shots in the movie. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you stand on the sword and shit. That's so good. Yeah. What is those games where they, it's just a, a light novel game? So visual novels? Visual mm. novels. Give me The Grudge like that. The Grudge is a visual Yeah, I'd like to see something like that. I can That'd see that be cool. being a thing, though. Or like Shudder. That could be. Shudder is like Sh- deadly. Uh, Shudder Island? No, no, Shudder. It's like a. Um, That's the camera one. The camera horror movie? Yeah, yeah. In Japan, yeah. Give me, give me that, but like deadly. Uh, what is that movie? What's that shit game that deadly you Deadly like? Premonition? De- <laughs> give me Shudder, but de- make it like deadly premonition. Dude, deadly premonition, the unofficial Twin Peaks video game. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That's I want what to Sonic the Hedgehog game. Like the movie Sonic the <laughs> Hedgehog? <laughs> nah. I, oh, that new Uncharted uh, movie that came out. That'd make a big, yeah. good video game. He's in Fortnite. <laughs> Dude, he's in Fortnite twice. Yeah. I hate it. Wait, who's in Fortnite? Zendaya. Twice? Zendaya is in Fortnite. Zendaya yeah. and Tom Holland. Oh my god. <laughs> Zendaya from Dune, I think, is in it. No, Zendaya from Four. He is in fucking Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
dude. So he starts overdosing on chug jug. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> you like Mac text me. <laughs> That's your specialty. Well, you do we get any of the euphoria If you don't drink standards? enough chug jug, you just start going on withdrawal. Uh, <laughs> what would you say? Run, run. <laughs> Dude, see this a, character sucks, bro. See his see sister always standing there crying. It's so funny. No, uh, who was going to get? Um, <laughs> you're going to hate this one. What's that? <laughs> premium Rush the game. <laughs> premium Rush. <laughs> What is Premium Rush? Go ahead, explain here. Premium Rush to him. Go ahead, explain, explain the plot to Premium Rush O'Brien. It's a biker movie with they sell no, no, packages and shit. What kind of bike? Like like mountain bikes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and they got to rush to get mail. <laughs> but one time they got the packages, like the wrong packages. And is they, it a legal post? Or is it just like... That's a real just, post office thing. Like, like proper post office. He's like, got to get to the fucking mailbox yeah. before 5 p.m. Before, before Michael Shannon kills him. <laughs> Why Michael is Michael? Shannon. He's the antagonist in the movie. <laughs> why does Michael Shannon want to kill him? I, I think it was uh, something in that package he wants. He's like, I want that package. <laughs> that's like, my Yu Gi Oh cards. <laughs> that is amazing. That is hilarious. I would uh, love a game of like that. Premium Rush was a most ridiculous. Like I've never seen the trailer for this, yeah. <laughs> and it's so stupid. I want to buy them blue. He's like so riding like uh, he's got like the little bike. His little yeah. bikes. <laughs> it's uh, and he's trying to do all cool all these all these cool moves. What's his name? Stuff. James or Jordan? Levitt? Uh, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. Yeah. 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 Really? That's that's so funny. Um, He's wearing his little tight wet suit. His little hat thing. <laughs> <laughs> a hater. I can't you believe know? you like that movie. <laughs> oh, you know what be a good movie? Jumper. Jumper Wait, did Jumper jump, have a tie Jumper, I think Jumper had a tie-in game. I don't think it was good, but I think it had it. Yeah, look it up. You you got a quick, quick access to it. Uh, Jumper video game? Video game? Was- I'm surprised I never got a sequel. It didn't, that movie did not do particularly well. It's clearly a January release movie. <laughs> it's a yeah. frog game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was. Jumper's it was a Griffin Wii game. story. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is he doing in a movie? Jumping? There's an Xbox 360 clip. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Dude. It's a platformer. <laughs> it's a fucking plat. Dude, if they would have Jumper a platformer, that would have been so funny. <laughs> So left one, like, get it? Because you're jumping? <laughs> Someone said Frogger is a jumper. The jumper tie-in game. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that kill you, Ryan? <laughs> Have you never seen Jumper? Yeah, I love that movie. Oh, the concept of it, though. It's just like... <laughs> what are you doing, jumping? <laughs> I don't know why it just really got me. I bet there's a limitation to how many times you can jump in a fucking game. Oh, God. Like you have like a like a, a magic bar or something yeah. like that. Because he doesn't even he doesn't even know martial arts or nothing in that movie, right? No, he doesn't. I mean, he can the, fight, but he just throw bunches. Street fighting, kind of. Yeah. Kind the of. the combat in Final Fantasy 15 would make an amazing jumper game. It would. It really would. Oh, I see. Yeah, where this. he just teleporting and that's yeah. the combat. That would be. I'm sure that that game they can make a very good game out of jumper. If they the game. Try, and yeah. I'm sure it was not good on the fucking Wii. <laughs> but jumper could have been way bigger nowadays. Dude, uh, Jumper would have been a franchise had it not been kind of like a mid-budget movie. Yeah. If it was like a really big budget movie, it would have done fucking fantastic. I really love Jumper. I like Jumper, yeah. Sam good. Samuel L. Jackson's in it. <laughs> With the little electric night stick thing. Yes. He He's like the jump scar thing. Uh, you know what movie came out in around the same vein as Jumper? It was called Push. And it's a movie where people have oh, sh- four I, superpowers. Oh, do you know what push is? Yeah, it just sounds familiar too. Yeah, they, there's four superpowers. People that can like do something with I the mind. I can't believe you know what push is. Dude, I adore that movie. I've watched that movie I a know, thousand I, times. Yeah, I so remember the trailer. I don't think I really saw it, but I know you're talking about yeah, it. Yeah, I saw oh. it on cinema. It was one of the best movies I've ever seen push. in cinema. It was so That's good. That's my line. It, shut up. Is, uh, what's the name, man? What do you mean uh, is your line? Bridget. Because I've seen I've seen weird movies. All Dakota the Fanning's in this movie, right? Pardon? Dakota Fanning. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I believe she's one of the main characters. Let me push the movie. Uh, this came out around like 2010. It was no, it was earlier than that. It was 2009. Yeah, Dakota Fanning, Chris Chris Evans. Uh, Chris Evans in this movie. Yeah, Chris Evans is in this movie. I remember Dakota Fanning though. Right, but. Here we go. Dude, that movie is Chris so Evans good. actually, what the fuck? He actually does look yeah. like a... Speaking of which, though... I didn't know that was Chris Evans. I didn't remember. Wanted the video game? It's fucking awesome. I, I was, that, that was just about to game. say Wanted. <laughs> wanted Sorry, all right, we'll let you I didn't know trailer. he was the main character, but he, he's got psychic powers, essentially. What is it? Te- uh, telekinesis. Yeah, I remember yeah. the trailer telekinesis. for this. I remember saying Dakota Fan. I don't remember Chris Evans, though. And he can, like, he can, like, grab... He learned at the end that he can push telekinetically every time he punches. So he gets, like, really strong punches. 
Man, I did not realize this uh, was fucking. Hang on. I was trying to like. I meant to look up a trailer for it, not a not a gunfight. Yeah, look, like look up the trailer yeah. to it later. Samuel Jackson, he's in. Oh no, that's no, Denver. that's another guy. <laughs> Click, uh, just push, push movie trailer. Uh, why? Trailer, is trailer. classic trailer. Here we go. How many years ago was this? This was 2009. 2009. <laughs> this was, was Jumper era. Yeah, yeah this, this, this came out like a, a year before very, Jump, after Jumper. Su- a very um, grounded wanted, superhero wanted push Jumper. Yep. There was a very specific type of movies coming out. Uh, Crash. Um, that movie with uh, Chronicle. Uh, Chronicle. Um, oh yeah, Chronicle was around the same time too. Chef Chevios. I can't fucking remember the name. Hmm. Chef Chevios. Fuck. Chef. I don't know what that is. High Voltage. The sequel's called High Voltage. Crank. Crank. Yeah. There we go. Chef Chevios. I mean, Jason Statham. Che- Jonathan no, Statham. Chef Chevios was his name in the movie. I couldn't that remember. That makes sense. I watched a transporter yesterday. That was a bad movie. I don't like none of them. Dude, <laughs> what was you watching on FX? Yeah, I want to say that <laughs> FX. FX we have still the playing movies. that fucking movie. Literally every damn day. Dude, this movie's so good. Like it's got style. It's got like really cool premise. I remember seeing this trailer on TV. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this movie like twenty times on. Dude, uh, so like it was on like. I feel like it was a Spike Cinemax. Movie. It would just come on Cinemax like every yeah. other day. I used to see it on Spike a lot. Look at this shit, man. That shark skin suit. Yeah. <laughs> Another topic we should do, how trailers change over the years. Oh, that, that is a good that one. Is, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, put that in the vault right there. Brian, cut that out. Put that in the vault. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that got a fanning so good in it, too. That's all I remember is her. I don't remember anyone I else. Think, <laughs> so I really weird. did not think that this was Chris Evans. Yeah, I forgot that it was Chris. I thought it was that guy from Prison Break. Oh. Oh. The ball hitting guy. guy? Yeah, that actually ball. make a pretty good cast. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this man just fucking getting tossed around. That ball headed uh, guy, he was in something else too. Movie, uh, damn, we should actually go home and watch this. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> I, I, I love Push, dude. <laughs> guy's not watching this shit. <laughs> this movie would make a great video game. So when they do Why that, didn't they have a Push tie in game? I don't know, but it would have been, been fantastic. Do you guys remember that movie War? Yeah. No. Jelly. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I, I don't. I didn't care for it though. Look at it. Like the set pieces are incredible, man. And the special effects are so simple and so grounded. There was a video game like this, right? You probably like a world map. Where you could, uh, it's like you use tel- telekinesis, telekinesis blast and use handgun. <sighs> I don't Wanted. remember. I don't remember. There's, I mean. Wanted didn't have telekinesis. No, but yeah, it's the similar effect he's probably thinking of. Yeah. That, that blur effect it used to do. Um, but yeah, that dude, would uh, awesome. that, that's a great that, that game. Right there, yeah. Wanted is a really great movie, and the Definitely. game was actually really fun. The game was awesome. Uh, Nothing like the comic book, though. <laughs> I've never seen the comic book. Yeah, it was like uh, Mark Miller did it. One of my favorite comic book writers. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, that that is a f- God. That's a fucking great. I'm gonna go watch that tonight. Well, yeah, probably. What's, can you see what Wanted is on right now? What streaming service? Wanted. <laughs> probably like yeah. Amazon Prime, probably. It probably, yeah. Everything is on Prime if it's not like Netflix. Um, dun, wow, dun, 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 dun. that that brought me back, man. I watched that, and I was like, fucking, I cannot believe you knew what that was. Yeah. I, I I thought that was mine. You're that was only, my secret movie. Yeah, you're the only person that I know that have watched that movie along the same time that I did. Yeah, so I, I was in I was in an island in Puerto Rico watching this shit in cinema, just looking up at the screen. Fucking, I can't I was, believe you got to watch it in theaters. I'm yeah, kind of yeah, jealous yeah. of that. I went I went with a I went with a girl that I had a crush on too. Uh, it is on, you can watch on, uh, so you can watch Wanted on, uh, YouTube, not, Google Play, <laughs> Apple TV. That's it? Uh, <laughs> you could probably find it on, I, I'm sure it's on it, Amazon. You have to, yeah, you have to do it on, like, fucking Amazon, probably. Who actually buys YouTube movies? The fuck? There's people that probably do it. I mean, they could find, oh, that's another style of film. We should do, we could do a whole decade, like decades of like type of films coming out. Because okay, Kick-Ass yeah. is also in that like grungy, <laughs> Yeah, the early 2000s, yeah. The grungy Hellboy superhero. 2. I could, we Hellboy could do Hellboy did have games. Ah, dude, Hellboy, Hellboy did have games. Yeah. They had anime series too. Yeah, that's yeah, true. God damn. Film. Good shit, man. You said Good Death shit. Race. That's a throwback. Death Race, yeah. So, <laughs> what I swore your, there was a Death Race game. Your childhood is based off FX movies. <laughs> 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 no, the early mit- League of <laughs> Extraordinary Men. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a video game for that. Dude, yeah, hot take so. that. What I actually look you like that. It's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> but no one like that. It's, it's really bad. It was um, a guilty pleasure though. There was a whole story about Sean Connery that he wanted to be in a super uh, a superhero game. <laughs> oh, really? So he, he funded that. So yeah, he was like, I want to, I want to be in it. Is Sean Connery dead? Sean Is he dead? Con- Sean Connery. Is he dead? Uh, yeah, he did die. <laughs> Don't say the cigar for me. He laughed. Sweetheart, have a. 
Tate loves his impression. Can you send it so just like <laughs> Dude, I, I watched He's a the... piece of shit in real life. Bro. Yeah, he's Shut a horrible your trap, person. Sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your fat whore mouth. Jesus Christ. Shreepon. What is it? Irish? Scottish? Uh, he's, he's, he's Scottish. Scottish. He was in Highlander. Say a damn thing. Yeah. What? He was in Highlander. Do you know what that is? Uh... It's like they're all. Like that's where the term "there can only be one" is. Tom Cruise in a movie. Sweetheart, I have a shaken not sword. Oh yeah, he died. He died uh, two years ago, October thirty first. He died in Halloween. Mm-hmm. Um, he yeah. died in Halloween twenty twenty. Oh. Uh, did I watched him in Indiana Jones the other day? I watched the last Crusade. Oh, he's Indiana Jones. He's, 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 he's Indiana Jones. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana Jones dad. <laughs> yeah. Harrison Ford's dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's old. <laughs> Surprised the hell out of me, dude. It was so good. He did a. He did such I a good job. I remember nothing from those movies. Dude, Indiana great. Jones actually has a movie, a uh, tying game movie too. Uncharted, it, but, but is it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Tomb Raider, they're the, his games. Yeah. Well, is it? Uh, is it uh, right. from the last movie or is it from one of the first? And it's movies? an old game. It's like a it's Sega the, game or something like that. It's, it's a platform. One with, uh, Shia LaBeouf is in. That that, there's the, a, I think the there's a video Skulls, game movie for that too, which is bad. That movie. What is bad. it? It goes from. It's funny. It goes to Indiana Jones to Tomb Raider. So in, Tomb Raider got inspiration from Indiana Jones, and Charlie got inspiration from Tomb Raider. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then so it's 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 yeah. really funny because yeah, Tomb Raider and Uncharted both inspired. Are both inspired by Indiana, Indiana Jones, Jones, but Uncharted is even more inspired by Tomb, Tomb Raider, Raider than it is by Indiana Jones because of all the supernatural elements. And no one for, no one mentions it no more. But Xbox is making an Xbox exclusive for Indiana Jones. So. Really? Yeah, that's awesome. That's their Uncharted. That's their Uncharted. That's what's yeah, that's their Uncharted. <laughs> that's, that's we do nothing about it though. They just announced it like what two years ago. I think there was a really bad Indiana Jones PC game. Yeah, I wouldn't be Can surprised. we talk about PC? Yeah, the PC market for a lot of these games, too. There was a lot of time. How was you bought on PC? There's also an Indiana Jones Lego game. Can we talk I about have Lego? this game. Dude, the Lego yeah, I had Legos. this game. It was bundled with Kung Fu Panda from my 360. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. The Lego yeah. Saga for video game tie-ins is legendary. That's pretty fun. They have so many games. Undefeated, too. Like mm-hmm. they, They're never bad. No, I've never seen a bad They're one. They're consistently good. They know what they are. Yeah. They, yeah, that is like a very that's uh, that is the special thing. thing. They they know what they are. <laughs> they know that they're casual. Well, they have like a yeah, format. Very casual. Yeah, they have that. That's like the the new wave of it. Like that is like how it, in spirit, mm-hmm. it's taking these very bad. They took everything that was good from yeah. video game tie-ins, and then they had their they had a, a set out format like just okay, parodies the Legos. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. a little bit taking the piss. But they, yeah, but they took the spirit of those, and then they just infused it into this lego format which works really well yeah and make it, it a little bit kid friendly my sister's girl i mean my sister's girlfriend my yeah. sister's little brother loves the shit out of them oh yeah, yeah that's awesome, awesome. they're I love so the, great dude what is it marvel superheroes one I there's like a seven dollars on ps4 really i think there's a mar i didn't know there was a marvel one there's a shit ton of them. yeah i there's knew that there was a there was a lego one and then there was the lego movie one yeah and then there was there were a couple of like I, I knew the Indiana Jones one, but I didn't know there were so many. There's an Avengers. Yeah. There's yeah. a Lego Jurassic World. Uh, there's Dude, Batman. That's awesome. I think Batman is one. Star of Wars, awesome. obviously. Yeah. There's an Incredibles. There's a Harry Potter. Awesome. Oh yeah, there is a Harry Potter one. The Indiana Jones, of course. There's a Hobbit Legos. There's a Pirates of the Caribbean Legos. There's uh, a Ninjitsu Lego. Oh, that's a Who's a developer? Lego? There is a Legos the movie Lego game, <laughs> uh, which well, is, is such a compilation of Mar- mm-hmm. all their games. Basically. Just, make, just call it Lego the game, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Legos, Legos Battles. There's Legos Racers. Uh, Legos Rock Band. Is that a Legos? Hell? What Star they had Wars a Ra- <laughs> Legos Rock Band game. I played the Star Wars one too. I think. Now, yeah. when are we going to get the the Bionicle tie-in movie games? Because I'm waiting for those. Isn't it a I, movie? I used to fuck with Bionicles hard. Uh, it was a TV show. It was a TV show. I remember Bionicles was, was that a TV it? Show. okay? So now we're well, now we're getting yeah. dipping. We our got we got like five more minutes. Oh, Kids okay. don't know what Bionicle is nowadays. No, they know. That's the that's the Dude, main. B- Bionicles <laughs> were a choking hazard. Yeah. For any, if you had a Bionicle Came in your in house, you bought thing. it for like a seven-year-old kid. The mm-hmm. the packaging for those were, were fun. awesome. They're like they're, fun like, they're like a little carbon like sleep pod. Yeah, and they use. <laughs> they had a big ass claw hand shit too. Dude, yeah. they had like sword, and they're all like you could take one. For, they're like Legos. So like you could take one Bionicle and you can mix and max mix into and another. Match, like you could make, have one with giant arms. You could make like this crazy monster. I used to have a lot of them. I used to have a lot of Bionicles. 
that, that you know that's a good marketing scheme too like it's just uh you can combine all these pieces together so new kids want to buy like 15 of them yeah dang some kind of monster people our age are into like you ever been to a lego store it's one of Dude, the most expensive stores I've ever been they're into. they're wild these they yeah, fucking one toys like three hundred dollars. Yeah, because yeah. now they're yeah. making. They had uh, there's a Lego set that people are gassing up. It was <laughs> the it was a Seinfeld set. <laughs> it was a Lego set. They're doing collabs. They're Lego doing like the sign of yeah. collabs. Is like that. Well, they have like a black series, or they have something like this where they do like full on like Ferrari toys and shit. Like they, well, table. well, they well, have they a, like so a, they have their typical Lego sets. Then they yeah. have Lego architecture, right? Which yeah. is like like that's like Legos for grown ups. And then, but apart from that, they have like like Lego recreations of video games. Yeah, they have like Lego Halo, Lego Forbidden, they got Lego Horizons NES. Are Dawn. Yeah, I just yeah. saw that. Lego NES. They got a whole bunch of Lego gaming subdivision, and then they have like Lego Ferraris and yeah, like Lego sculptures. I went crazy. in. Like, Lego is really cool. the American build kit. It's, it's, yeah, they're, it's really a lot. They're like walking in Apple stores. That's what Lego feels like. like it's like yeah. it's really coming high class now. Yeah. They sell individual pieces of the Lego store too. I want I'll, every time I go in there, you can make, make your own character for like ten dollars. Yeah. I want to make one. So let me extend this to you: If you guys could get a remake of a video game tie-in today and have it a triple A studio make, remake it, what would you guys want to see? X Men Origins. You want to see an X Men? Well, I mean, you're getting that kind of oh, with the with the what? fucking X or the Wolverine game it? coming out by um, oh fuck yeah, I is, it, about is that. it Insomniac? Yeah, yeah, yeah Insomniac. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about that too. Now I'm excited. Eat up, boys. Eat up. Yeah, goddamn right. I mean, you yeah. know what? Actually, top ten studio. You know what? I would like. I would like a really solid Golden Eye remake. I'm surprised it didn't happen yet. I though. would like a really solid Golden Eye remake. That is, yeah, that is. They probably can't do it because of licensing issues. And shit. Yeah, that's probably why. But like, imagine like just. Revisiting that Pierce Brosnan, Pierce Boseman, that is Brosnan, uh, Brosnan. Yeah. Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan story, and then, but maybe don't even put Pierce in it. Maybe put like Daniel Craig in it. I can smell my basement. <laughs> when I mentioned that, yeah. I can smell it because I remember exactly where I was when I started playing yeah. Golden Eye. I remember that fucking uh, you're you get on a boat, yep. and you drop in the bathroom, you shoot hey, the guy. God, like, I just remember <laughs> we got a Matrix game recently. <laughs> that wasn't a, well, it was a tech demo. It wasn't not. It wasn't is a it, game. It was no. just a te- it was a technological uh, thing. That would that Legend would that 5. would fuck though. Uh, I would play a Matrix game like that. Too bad the Matrix movie blew. Honestly, <laughs> Did I you think see it? all of them. No, but I, no. I knew it was gonna be bad. Too many other day. Matrix. I was... saw the trailer for it. I'm like, this is a yeah, cash grab through and through. It didn't. It came at the wrong time. I want. I want to see it. I haven't seen it. I want to see it before I cast Josh. It's funny. I was catching myself. Ma- up. The Matrix is one of those movies that often gets misunderstood a lot. No. And and I just I, I want to before I say anything I want to watch it. The first one's fantastic. Yeah. First After one's that, good. Yeah, don't the, care. S- the second and third are good but not great. The first one's great. Yeah. The first one's awesome. Um, All right, Tate. What, yeah. would, what do you want to? What would uh, you like to see remade? I'm trying to think. I mean, I mean <laughs> we got sp- we got the Spider Man ones. Yeah, I already Marvel got Spider Man. We care. got Wolverine coming out. Give me. <laughs> This list, uh, like you really want remakes of this stupid shit. <laughs> I want a Ghost Rider remake, dude. The Ghost Rider remake would fuck. Give yeah. me a Ghost Rider remake on the the Switch. I might buy it. <laughs> you got this for the chain. Give me a like a like a. That was it. Wait, I now give wait. me a Soulsborn Ghost Rider game. A Souls like Ghost right. Rider. Game. All right, we can, yeah. we can do that. That that I would want... that would kind of fuck. Souls Born Ghost Rider game. Souls like like just like a like a From Software Ghost Rider. A triple A so- like Ghost Rider game. Yeah. Uh, Give me a triple A E T. What? <laughs> that would be actually good marketing. I think that game would like they would buy it just for purely like I want to see the what meme. this. Yeah, just for the meme. Uh, I hate shit like that. That never goes well. It doesn't, but it would yeah. sell well. But what's the name? The fucking cat game did that. Um, Straight Busby, the a mascot franchise back in the day. Oh, uh, I remember Bucks. Oh, it's yeah. so bad. Let's get it now. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those games. I, I don't fucking know. Or a thing game. I think a thing horror okay, game yeah. would be fucking amazing. Thing okay, horror game would I, be I really good. With, uh, I can like, fuck uh, with that. What's the game with the the guy in space? Oh, Dead space kind of game. Oh, um, yeah, I can see it as a Dead space kind of game. That's essentially what it is. Right? Um, but instead of uh, instead of being like Dead space. So just like in the Arctic Tundra, like you actually no. Need all to right, go give out. me a hybrid game where it's like a detective, uh, Dead Space type game. Like it's a slow draw. It's a slow draw combat, kind of like like, like Dead Space, but you're doing like a whole detective mystery to so- and give to me, find actually, out who's give the me thing. a mix. Give me a mix of uh, between Dead Space and then uh, Mass Effect, where everything you. Everyone who you accuse of, it's like going to like affect you six ways down the line. Oh, I need dude, a game like LA, that. LA Wait. Noir, Dead Space yeah. Hybrid. Yes. Again, I want that as a thing. What'd you say? The Godfather series. 
<laughs> oh, the Godfather series were really Whoa. good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They wait. don't follow the they don't follow the movie. Do they? Okay. I think they do. They loosely follow. Didn't the movies. Uh, what is that game? That came Mafia. Out? Mafia. Yeah. Mafia is not a Godfather oh. game. Yeah, two different franchises. But it, I mean, it has that. Like, it's the same, same gameplay. It's the same gameplay, yeah. but it's not. Dude, L.A. Noir, the thing horror game with combat elements from that space. Yeah. Oh. Dude, Pitis Producers? Easy. Dude? Who would do a little bit? Rockstar? Yeah. Uh, who would... Uh... I don't think Rockstar would be the... Uh, well, Rockstar did LA Noir, but I think that the, like, the, a great developer Bethesda? to handle this... No, fuck Bethesda. As a, as a, I hate Bethesda. It's going to be buggy everywhere. Uh, <laughs> no, the, the people that did uh, The Wolf Among Us, Telltale, to handle all the branching dialogue... Nah, the gameplay won't be there, though. No, I don't want, I don't want that gameplay style, but... If we were to get that same fidelity for the branching dialogue, true, okay, uh, from a Telltale game, we got the best of it. With the same uh, the developers that did the Evil Within, I think it would be a great game. Or do uh, Quantic Dreams to develop it? Oh, Evil Within, yeah. the that's Evil, uh, Evil Within gameplay style. That's the guy who really made good. Resident Evil. Who the guy that did the people that did uh, Until Dawn and the guy of the Xbox game. Oh, they got a remake recently. I don't think I would want a game from them. Um, I don't know what that Quantum game is. Dreams. Quantum, I know Quantum Break is a the people Remedy, uh, not Remedy. Yeah, that's a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remedy. Yeah. Remedy. The people that the Quantum Break could Control probably kill that. that shit. Yeah, could yeah. probably kill that really well. Anyway, let's call it. Yeah, I think uh, I think we wrap it up here. Yeah, movie tying games. That was a good time. And it's like uh, X Men Origins is still the best one that I've played. Fucking love that thing. Yeah, Lord of the, I, I kind of wanted a Lord of the Rings too. Yeah, oh, that, that was good. Well, shut up, hold on. That was one of those games where I played a shit ton of it as a kid yeah. and never knew what I was playing. Yeah, same. and then I looked it up when I was doing research for this, and I was like, "Holy shit, that's it! <laughs> that game ruled." Wait, you didn't know it was Lord of the Rings? Though? I didn't know. I yeah. I thought it was just some fantasy game. I didn't know it was a tie. That's how Lord of the Rings. I know. That's how good it was. I just that yeah. was playing Shadow Moto when I saw uh, Smeagol. I'm like, "Wait, this is a Lord of the Rings game?" It didn't, I didn't catch on to. You like, really didn't know. No, that was a like whole marketing. I don't know. Why? I don't, I don't remember the marketing. <laughs> yeah, well, they they, they hid it until they said Shadow of Mordor, yeah. and they didn't say anything. It else. didn't click with me. Like, they no. didn't call it Lord of the Rings. They didn't say anything about the universe. But Mordor is in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord. I yeah, know, yeah. but it just didn't click. It, it, like what I saw, be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what is this? What do you play as in work? No Shadow of Mordor. That's a that's a deep joke from last week or two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wait, did we talk about that on the podcast about how like orcs or, or orcs were like the black people in the Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I brought a lightsaber. Uh, good night, yeah, guys. <laughs> good night. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter <laughs> at underscore Girl, the drinking hey, shit. Buy one. <laughs> no. Shut the hell up, man. Not gonna, I'm not going to buy a can lightsaber. We, actually, I'm going to derail this real quick. Yeah. You have it. You stop getting hobbies. Knock it off. Why you hate on me? Knock it off, because you have too many hobbies. What is my hobby? You hobbies? have an idea. List them, list them my you longboarding, uh, bow and arrow, uh, you, throwing stars and samurai, <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> What's going on with you? Knock it to, off. <laughs> He's trying to find something that he likes, man. I get it. No, I wrote lightsaber. I've always wanted one. I never had one. Yeah, dude, dude like, the lightsaber. Awesome. They've seen my video. I geeked out. Like, they're so good. I think yeah. Tay knows some that we don't. Like he think like there's a zombie apocalypse that Tay yeah, knows. Tay, about. <laughs> Tay knows fucking... that the Russians are gonna bomb us. Yeah, and he's, he's been prepped. socking up on a lot of crazy. I'm stocking up on food lately <laughs> in the bunker. <laughs> You guys are welcome to come. Under, right? under, yeah, that's his next adventure. He's yeah. like, he's like, I got a bunker. Under his house, there's a g- giant bunker, and it's got a big wall of canned food, all his weaponry, and then like a little cupboard for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I hope to God he's not John Goodman in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Chicks like jiggling like that. <laughs> cut, cut the show. That's a reference to the shit. Cut it. Don't cut that out. That's a bit. You can find them, you can find them on Twitter at <laughs> underscore the drunken shit. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Ochilla and on Twitch. Fucking <laughs> And on Twitch at Brian Browning. <laughs> 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 Don't be <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you can find Crockett at uh, <laughs> on Twitter oh, at Cyber fuck. Calamity. <laughs> and you can find <laughs> Tay at underscore Tay Infinite. <laughs> Make sure that you follow us on the Discord. Links in below. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Got a fucking flannel on. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember, I remember crying at that fucking trailer. His cheeks were jiggling. He's like, oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> 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 <laughs>